Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 with another Survive the Hunt. Yes, this is the game mode where I have to try and survive for 24 hours of game time while this lot give chase. This it, It's a bit of a mess. We've got a seaplane, a broken attack helicopter, a rolled bus, a non-rolled bus, and other assorted bits and pieces. It it's a fair race car park, and I don't think there's another way to describe it other than that. Uh, there's a fight currently going on as well, and a blown up car, naturally. Yeah, we're going to get underway. We're going to get underway at 10.15. I'll try to remember it this time. I may or may not. I have to try and survive. You're not going to write it down on my computer. Uh, <laughs> Whether that's going to work or not is anybody's guess. Um, I'm going to have to yeah, try and survive for 24 hours of GTA 5 time while this lot are giving chase. Of course, there is no map. There is no name over players going on. Somebody fired a movie gun at me. Yes, they did. Hey, you sneaky bugger. Um, yeah, I've got to try and survive for 24 hours while this lot are going to be giving chase. My goal is to try and blow up some prees as well as the survival, and I have a cunning plan. You see, today is April Fool's, and we thought of many ways we could mess with the audience. However, instead what I'm going to do is mess with the hunters. This is a ballsy strategy, and I don't know if it's really going to work. Unfortunately, it's not quite worked as I'd hoped initially, but we'll see how it pans out. You see, what I'm going to do is try and pretend to be a hunter. Now, I've said in the past, and I will maintain that this is very difficult. I pulled it off once in Horizon 4, and it worked mostly. It's a lot more difficult to do in GTA 5. Much, much more difficult to do in GTA 5. But I think I might have a way I can almost make it work. There is a small problem. Basically, I have to try and pretend to be a, a hunter, but I don't know what they're driving. So how do I pretend to, to be one of them if I don't know what their cars are? likely to, to be. I can grab a car off the road and drive around like a lunatic, but they'll talk to each other. They'll say who is driving this. When they don't get a response, they'll cotton on that it is me. Now, that's not what I want. That's bad news for me. But I might be able to drive a vehicle that's recognisable enough that they don't question it. That's what we're going for here. So I have a plan. Here we go. We are going to try and be Blakey. Now, unfortunately, my plan has slightly failed on two fronts. Now, I know what car I'm expecting Blakey to drive. I've seen from previous ones. Basically, after, say, after a little while, uh, return that vehicle to storage, uh, Blakey has a tendency to use one particular car. It is a felon that is purple that has the red headlights. Now, hunters have just been released at this car? point, by the way. The uh, thing is... I don't it's think like he's actually driving it this time around. That is a big problem for me. Uh, now my hope is is that at a glance they'll just see this car and the automatic assumption is going to be that it is the car that is being driven. And when they see my character dressed as Blakey, they're not going to think twice. Now this isn't going to be blending in in a conventional manner for me. Unfortunately, Blakey is currently driving a, a Mupa Verb, but may change, and there may be... Yeah, the manager may not think about it. That's what we're going for here. That's what we're counting on. My character is wearing a slightly different top because I can't find the one Blakey normally wears. Um, but uh, that's all I can do. Why, why, have I, why have I picked to go for Imitate Blakey? Because the car is quite likely, the character is quite distinctive and generally stays the same. That's the hope in this one. I'm hoping I can pull this off. Basically what we're going to do is go mad. We're going to try and bomb as many cars as we can as quickly as possible. This is a maxed out fed and we've got bulletproof tyres, we've got armour, we've got full engine upgrades. This is full sneaky stealthy asshole idea that may or may not work. Uh, if it doesn't work though, I've got a very quick car that's heavily armoured that I can run away with. That's the hope. That's that's the hope, uh, and I, I don't quite know how it's going to pan out, but we're going to give it a try. So, we don't really have to be stealthy. The things that are going to give me away, okay, if people cotton on that, well, I'm not Blakey, if people cotton on that Blakey's not driving the car, they normally, they recognise that, yeah, this is out of place, they're going give, gonna to give chase. It, the one thing that I have to be a little bit wary of is people might start noticing a car running away when it should be running towards stuff. Uh, where is... There's a pre supposed to be down here somewhere, I think. Is it not down here? Uh, yeah, if, if they recognise a car 
that is supposed to be running towards a pre-explosion is actually running away from a pre-explosion, that may look a trifle suspicious. It's supposed to be a car down. Oh, is it a little further down around here? No, it's supposed to be on that bit. Okay, it's, it is a little further around. It's not quite where I thought it was, but that's fine. We can just go and do... What the hell? Did I just bounce off of it? Sure. Uh, whatever. Let's just go and find... I'm actually being a bit stupid here. I've just realised in that we're farting around and if they see me and I'm parked, they may cotton on very early. Uh, right, cops turn a blind eye. We've got it. There we go. Alright, now the mission is afoot. This is a very, very early explosion. And... <laughs> I've got to try and get myself out of here. Now, what I am going to be trying to do is I'm going to be trying to avoid... Uh, maybe should have gone this way then. I'm going to try to avoid ways that they're likely to be heading towards the cars that I've blown up, if that makes sense. I don't want them to see this vehicle at all, if I can help it particularly. I want to be as far away from any of the mayhem as possible. Which is going to mean, yeah, a little bit of kind of sneaking around. I'm hoping if they glance it, it's not going to matter. I don't know about here, actually. This is the wrong This is the wrong road. I think it's the next turning I need to get down to where there may be a car. Now, they may cotton on. Uh, okay, actually, no. Better idea. Better idea. I'm not going to go do these in the specific order that I'm thinking. So, there is an order I can run through, like a shortest route order. But I've got an entire day, so I don't have to rush. This is a really, really weird strategy for me, and I don't know whether it's going to work, but we're trying to get... Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Is it? Is there a way out of here? No, there is a way out of here. Okay, that's fine. That's not quite where I thought I was. Um, I'm trying to get, actually, to the other end of the city, other edge of the city. My plan being, there's a car... I don't quite know where that bit of the road is that we're looking at. I thought I saw a shadow of a blimp, but I could be wrong. Like, it scratches on my car, it doesn't matter. This thing is obviously not a blending-in vehicle. Which I'm fine with. Uh, <laughs> that's the whole point of it. It's just, yeah, I'm a little nervous of all of this. Okay, I know where this car is, roughly. I think. Maybe. Uh, right, so we're heading along here. Actually, I actually think I wanted that top road. I think they may possibly be on to the cunning plan here. Oop, oh, ended up into that one. I think they are. I think, because Blakey wasn't driving the car that was needed, I think someone might have been onto the onto the cutting strategy already. Ah, we only got one. That's not worked as well as I'd hoped it would. It's a great theory, but it just does, didn't work in the end. Oh, where is the pre that I'm thinking of around here? Now, we might well be able to buy, a, buy us some time here. This car is stupendous. Well, actually, it's very, very fast. So we might actually be able to just lead them on a merry chase. We can head towards... There's one at the little monument thing. So we can actually go and lead them on this chase, and we can try... We can try something. Oh, I say we can try something. We can just keep the foot down and hope for the best. If we get police, I don't care. I've got bulletproof tyres on this. They're not going to be able to stop me uh, in the police cars. So, whoop. Oh, that's on the signpost. Oh, that's missed. Uh, you know what? I couldn't have done a better, like, end or break if I tried on that one. That's got rid of the car, at least. Okay, we're two pre's down. We're already almost at the same score we had last time around. Uh, where have we got anything down this way to run towards? Oh, that's a little bump on there. That's fine. Uh, we've got a Phoenix coming after us now. Uh, the Phoenix has got some speed about it, so we can't, I mean, we can't fart around too much at the end of the day. As fun as this is, I can't fart around indefinitely. Uh... Oh, we can hopefully get that stopped in time. Oh, going to get a bump and another bump. And now they've broken it. Now I don't know what I can do from here. I guess, I mean, we're not supposed to go in there. I was stopped and they pushed me in. So I guess it's going to be fair game. If I leave the car park and we can just resume the chase, I will leave the car park in ghost mode. Um, so there will be no massive advantage to me. Um, yeah, as you can say, the advantage is I get out of the situation that I'm stuck in, uh, but they can also get out of their cars and potentially start shooting at me, which is probably fair game. They had a shot, a shot at shooting at me, we're going to just bolt away. 
That is, of all the time, we've done 30, this is the 33rd one of these, and that's the first time we got pushed into a, uh, ooh, into somewhere like that. Uh, right, well, we're just going to go back to full bore running away. What the hell was that AI doing? I'm not actually sure. Oh, well, I'll duck down here. It's an option. It's an option that we've got. Oh, that's a jump. We made it. Do I try something really risky? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, no, let's not go for it. Change of plan. Oh, damn it, I could quite fit through what was a fairly narrow gap. Yes, Chris, fire a flare. I knocked him over because I pushed the car at him. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> I forgot there was an easy way out over here. This has been a comedy of errors by me. However, we're still alive. We shouldn't be alive, really. We really should have, I say, should have survived that one. Chris could have done a lot of damage there uh, had they been close. Now, it's really difficult getting pre's. And I believe he is in that people carrier that's behind me. Um, it's very annoying that that is the way that it's gone. Uh, oh, there's some cars in really awkward places. There's cars in places that are somewhere around here. I just don't know these bits of the map very well. And uh, when you're trying to... You can't, I can't really read the map and deal with a car chase all that well. It's like I've, I've got to be going... Oh, I've got to be concentrating on the road as well. I've got to kind of hope that I luck out, turn around a corner. and Oh, look, there's a pre there we can deal with. Uh, we can blow up or something, but no, uh, apparently not. Now we have actually got, we've actually got a really good gap to everybody at this point. Um, they may well not know where I've gone, and I'm fine with this. You know what? Use my straight line speed. Uh, oh, break for the tunnel. We can realign ourselves, basically. We can jump up onto the motorway, and I can head back towards the north of the map. Excuse me. Motorway time it is. Uh, where is... There is the blimp. Can it still see me? Maybe. Has it still seen me, though? Okay, maybe we're... Uh, yes. It's really difficult to tell. It's so high up. I don't know whether the render distance is going to keep me in. I think it I think it can still see me by the, by the fact that I'm pretty sure there's some cars back there. However, it can't match me for top speed. Nothing probably can match me for top speed. So we're going to run into here. Now, they may well think that I'm going to try doing sneaky buggers. I'm half tempted to. We've got nothing to blow up down here. We're blowing up the only sort of easy-to-reach car down here. Uh, through the traffic we head. Yeah, they may expect me to try be clever. They may expect me to go run onto the beach. Now, I'm keeping this pretense up for as long as possible. I, you know... I'm going to make the most of having a fast car, because if I can blow up three, four, five pre's in this little scenario, that's grand. Uh, but of course, the longer you run like this, the more risk, you know, you're asking for trouble, basically. Uh, somewhere around here, uh, stuck down one of these, and then there's a little narrow road. That's one of them in a taxi. So uh, it's on one of these really narrow roads, but... Don't have time to try and figure out exactly where the littlest narrow road with a pre on it is. Because there's just too many bloody cars around. Okay, we're going to head back up towards the cinema area. If we can get along there. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Still going. Uh, if we can get up onto this road, there's at least one car along here. And I know I can outrun a Schwarzer in a straight line. I'm hoping, anyway. It should be. If I can't outrun a Schwarzer, we're in trouble here. Yeah, there's one somewhere along here. It should be on my right-hand side. Oh, bounce off a curb. Just, I have a little lift, little tap on the brakes through there. Just because I want to get the car settled. I don't want to have a spin. It's somewhere down here. It's on the right. I think it might be where the limo is, possibly, or in one of these car parks. In fact, the problem is I've got such speed down here, I can't see where anything is. If I go any slower, we run the risk of getting caught. There it is. Oh, uh, oh, have a bomb. <laughs> right, that's that one done. Okay, so there's one a little further down here. It's in one of the small alleyway roads. Uh, I think it's down this one. And then if we head back... Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Lado. Uh, that is not so good for me. Uh, thank you. You have helped me out immensely. Uh, whoop. Sanking can go over me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody has... I think Blakey has swapped into their one of these. I definitely saw a purple felon go driving past. Uh, right, okay. That plan didn't quite work. There are too many cars around. Let's go back to motorway speed. Light motorway speed. Motorway speed is a good strategy. 
as far as getting away from everybody goes. Uh, very difficult to try and catch a breather in all of this. Did they see me make a U-turn on the motorway? Yes, they did. Where is the blimp? I haven't seen the blimp for a while. So, <laughs> the blimp is going to struggle with this because a lot of these change of direction. The blimp's going the wrong way. Lovely. The taxi won't see me. Um, so we're going to just keep, keep going for it, keep going for it, keep running. So we've got three pre's at the moment. Let's not forget, we started at 10... 15. I mean, we've had a decent chunk of time in all of this. It's so difficult to try and figure out the real sort of fine detail. Some of these cars are very nastily hidden, and while you can do it when you're driving around slowly, do I... Do I keep going like this, or do I go for... The, the ultimate plan was to run like this for a little while, get away, and then go back to sneaking. Because we can burn time up, and then we've got to reset, and then they're completely lost again, and they're dealing with a whole new ball game. If I can get a fourth pre, I think I'll be happy. So we're going to try blast it. There are a couple of cars around here, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, no, I do know where it is. What's by the petrol station? I believe... That's a spin. No one directly behind. Is there one over here? Yes, there is. Okay. This might not be the one I'm thinking of, but I'm... Yeah, no, it is the one, because the petrol station is just over there. Uh, right, so we'll get rid of that one. And then... Oh, a couple of shots came in from somewhere. Not quite sure where. I think it might have been police rather than player related. And we can jump on the motorway. And then we can go... Right, Lester, we've had fun. Could you give me a hand here? <coughs> Sorry, voice dying a little bit from all this excitement. Yes, go away, wanted level. Don't want that. Uh, right. Because we can draw them over there, and if I can get away... Oh, did I want to come off here? No, I did not. I'm up for a little bit of a spin. Where is the blimp? Can't see it. One's kind of up towards the hills. Do I want to take... Which route do I want to take to get to it? Not sure. Uh, I said I was only going to want to get one more, and then I'm going to swap, but I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to Icarus it. I might end up Icarus it, to be honest with you. Uh, but, I mean, it's working. Do you ruin a working formula? Is it, is it super it's super risky what we're doing here? I mean, we've already, you've already seen I've got myself in trouble a couple of times. We got lucky. Chris fired a flare gun at us. Uh, we got lucky in that something punted us clear. And that may not happen again for us. Right, okay, let's have a look. So it's basically the turning that runs alongside the golf course. So we're heading along here. We take a left and then a left. <coughs> and then... I don't apologise, my voice. <laughs> I don't want to cough into the microphone, but my voice is messing around. Yeah, we take a left, and then it's a left up here, and then there is a pre... Somewhere here? I think. I don't know where. I think it's in the garage. I think the garage door that I saw that was closed, I'm... I think that's where the pre was. Oh, so there's a garage door that's half open. I think they left it in there expecting the door to stay open, and I think the door's closed on it. But I now am committed and can't turn and get it. Ah. I haven't really got anybody following me at the moment. So, that's something. They're not going to know where I am. They're going to have to spread out. I mean, they're looking for a car driving quickly. So, we know there's another pre somewhere around one of these places. Uh, there it is. Lovely stuff. Okay. Oh! <clears throat> right. There's somebody back there that's just got out of their car. I, I saw them. I saw they were trying to go shoot at me, but we're again just going to tear away. Now, second phase of this operation is going to kick into gear. It has been fun. The, the, I was really hoping I was going to get more cars before they actually figured out the plan I was working with here. I really, really hoped we were going to get more plans. Um, more things blowing up, but I've got to run now. Uh, so I've got to run. We've got to swap. We've got to change up our strategy completely. And that is what we're going to go and do. Black post. Hello. Ooh, get it back under control. We have done. Have we got anyone following us? Yes. Okay, I can see a couple of cars in the distance. That's fine. It's going to happen. We're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it in our own way of panic and flail, run quickly, and yeah, see what we can do. I'll do a quick glance at the map. There's nothing I can do over here in terms of pre's. We can just 
uh, run as far as possible. I'm, I'm trying to use the straight line speed. We know this is the big advantage that I've got here. We can be very, very quick and hope for the very best uh, gap. There is the blimp. Okay, so we're not we're not really dealt with the blimp at the moment. Um, oh god, we're over the curves. It's frantic. It's really difficult at this sort of. Um, we've got to keep control of the car. At the end of the day, I've got away with a couple of loose driving moments, a couple of slides, a couple of bobbles that. I don't really want to be doing if I can help it. Uh, now, this is risky, but the blimp can't do a U-turn. So the blimp might see where I've gone, but it now can't follow me. It's got to try and turn around, and I can use this time to get away. I see the demon eyes back there. I can see the actual Blakey machine going on. Oh, will they see where I've gone? Actually, where am I? I turn my lights off. I don't want my lights on. That's all bad news for me. Will they see me have gone onto the motorway? They knew, okay, they, they know I might, might like that strategy. Whether they saw me, whether they guessed it, I don't know. Difficult to tell. Oh. Now, they might not be able to see this or follow this. The blimp's gone wandering off into another direction. How have they seen me? Maybe they saw the brake lights. That might be the problem part here. I wish I could disconnect the brake lights entirely. Uh, Unfortunately, of course, that's going to give you away in, in other settings. The police are a bit of a problem for me here. Well, that's a good hit from a police car. I don't know if I can call Lester again. So, we're in the middle of a police chase and dealing with hunters. This is the downside of this strategy is that the police can get involved and cause me grief. Um, Lester, are we at a point where you can get me out of trouble hey, here? What's going on? Uh, Remove the okay, wanted so level. Yes, okay, trouble. you can get me out of that trouble. Well, this plan won't okay, work okay. because they will probably see me. Okay, the blimp is going to try and get turned. I see a Ewan up ahead. I see a load of cars on the other side of the motorway. Uh, oh. Okay, well, I just got turned by an AI. They've all turned around going the other way. I'm in a lot of trouble down here. No, some of them missed it, sir. Okay, we are causing... We are causing mayhem. I mean, this is what we wanted. This is what we needed. Some turned around. I'm really hoping, I'm going to be so disappointed if at some point they haven't confused me and Blakey. I'm going to be really disappointed if that hasn't occurred at least at one point in time during all of this. Uh, I'm going for some very, very dumb, risky stuff here. I mean, it could work. If they don't see what I'm doing, it might not work because they, they know there's only a limited number of ways out of the airport. There goes one. It's gone past me. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies for my voice. Uh, right. We're out a little bit. And this just shows how difficult it is to change, just change a car. At the end of the day, I'm now not at a different point in a chase as I would be normally. We're at a point where I want to get away, I want to change car. This car's been made. Oh, there is one of them. God, the back end just let go as I stamped on the brakes to try to avoid a big crash. How on earth am I ever going to survive this? I don't know. The blimp is back in the fray again. What am I going to do? There's times where I'm like almost far enough away. I think that car just missed where I went. Nighttime is going to help me here. Nighttime could well save me. I think they've lost it. No, no, there's a big slide from somebody there that has seen me. <clears throat> Where do we go? Where do we go? Where are we going to get away from all of this? Is there a car that can still see me? Oh, I was busy looking in the distance because I thought I saw something up there. Hmm. I'm trying to take routes that they can't easily see, that you can't easily follow. Uh, like, you can't guess work a turning, necessarily. And I have done a couple of these sort of turns, but you might not be able to guess work all of this. That's the plan that I'm working on. Whether this is actually going to work or not is anybody's guess here. I can't see people around. I can't see cars following. Doesn't mean they aren't. Ooh, that's a big hit. Now, this is heavily armoured, this vehicle, uh, which is great news for me in terms of survivability not great news 
I know. Great news in terms of survivability. We'll take hits like that all day long, and it will take a lot of them to kill the car. Um, not great news for me to keep crashing the car in general. You know, we don't want to be doing damage to the vehicle. Uh... Do they know I've gone down here? I do not know. <coughs> Are they going to suspect... It's so difficult to keep track of a car at times. I don't, almost don't want to leave the car, because at the end of the day, if they come down here, they see me, and I'm in the car, I can just put my foot down, we can go, we can bolt, and I know the speed of this vehicle. If I get out of the car, if I'm walking around on foot, we have to do something else, we have to shoot our way out, or something along those lines. At least in here, we are pretty well undercover. I'd like to get up on the rafters here, but I don't think we can. Uh... Ooh, let's take a deep breath. The felon did good. Although I shouldn't speak too soon, you know. I, in here, I don't. I don't think I've ever gone to the rail yard to get away. Well, I can get up on the. Oh no, I can't. That's just a random matter. I don't think I've ever gone into the rail the rail yard really to get away. So I don't know whether they'd expect to search for me down here. We knew we had a big margin to everybody. Um, right. Let's go. Let's try and get our character sorted. Let's go find a dark corner to hide in. And uh, let's, yeah, focus on getting our character sorted out now. So. The sneaky Blakey, it kind of worked briefly. It didn't really work as well as we would have liked. Uh, sadly, that is the way that it goes sometimes. So we're just going to go back. Some normal clothes. We're kind of starting to survive the hunt 27 minutes or something into it. We are over halfway through. I mean, we're over halfway through. We've got five bloody cars. That is really, really good going. It does mean I have to leave. It means I have to leave this area. I'm not looking forward to this park because it's... Di it's really difficult being on foot. We saw I survived last time. I did get away with being on foot, yes. I got away with being on foot because I was in an incredibly crowded area. There wasn't enough people for them to look at. Nighttime will help me a bit, I hope, here. And I think that's what ultimately has helped me get away in this chase. Can I mean, I can, I can also use, you know, I can use the third person camera here. Uh, I can be a little sneaky and we can say, look, can I see a car around? No. Uh, can I see anything around? I could go up there. It's a, it's a very exposed walk. At least here I can stay undercover. I can stay in between the trains and all that. Uh, so I think I'm going to prefer this route. There's also potential to find cars parked at the bus station. Uh, potential to find vehicles. All sorts of places, really. Uh, so it's easier to get to vehicles heading this way. I've got more cover if we get spotted, if we have to have a shootout. I'm disappointed my plan didn't work better, but then I've also got five pre's in a very short time. It kind of worked, but... I, I have done I've done this multiple times. I know the GTA map quite well, but when you're in a chase, trying to figure out, like, pinpoint exact location of a car is tough. Like, that is so difficult to do. When you're so busy, frantically worrying about a million different things. Uh, so we, I think we know where at least one more car is. Okay, I think I'm pretty. I say I think that's just a normal guard. Don't shoot them. I'm pretty sure where that garage door was, there is a car in it. It's right, the exact right position on the map. It would make sense, you know. I could see the logic part of the car in the garage. It's you know a fun, interesting little place to put your vehicle. You wouldn't have realised the game might shut the door on it, but the door wasn't shut properly, which you know makes sense, if you like. It makes sense that, that that car could be in there, the door not shutting, that would be a very GTA 5 thing. So, yeah, I, I'm seeing the logic in that car position. Come on, come on. I know there sometimes can be cars parked around in the bus station. I don't know where they park, though. They might park around the front. I don't really want to have to go round the front, if I can help it, basically. Ugh. 
what can... Well, that means we're going to have to find a vehicle over here somewhere. And I can't really be picky. We could get away... Again, we could get away with it on Vespucci Beach. There's enough people that you will blend in. That's basically the one place on foot works. And it worked pretty well, actually, last time. Everywhere else is so dangerous being on foot. It really is. Um, I could run into the road and grab a car. It's looking like it might have to come down to that. I've got to be careful, of course, if I cross the road. It's rare the AI bother with crossing the road. So we have got to be very careful with that one if we choose to go for it. I could drive an Inga. See, I don't really want to drive an Inga. I want to drive that Oracle or something. Oracle, a good shout. Not the best, best car, but I'll take it in a pinch. Uh, there is one of them, actually, just driving around. I think I'm about to get killed. Oh no, I wasn't. It just turned around. Maybe I was going to get killed. Uh, either way, it's going to be a Chris that gets shot to pieces. Can I take your car? Because it's an Oracle and it's better than whatever else I might find here. Uh, actually, what I could do... The, the things with that car there, of course, is it's is busted up. Oh, there was a ladder somewhere around here. What do I do? No, we've got police on us. I completely forgot about the police. Okay, I had an idea, but it didn't work because I couldn't get to a rooftop around where I wanted to. Now, I might be able to buy myself a smidgen of time uh, here. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be enough, though, is it? Wait, did you not really not pay attention? Oh, I was trying to get the phone to Lester. Oh, this car drives horribly. Chris, what have you done to this car? Maybe it's modified and I'm just not expecting the oversteer from an Oracle. I'm so used to driving a yeah, standard one. Yeah, they are on to me. I just saw a car ah, behind. I think it took them a second to figure out what was going on, but my farting no around with oversteer machine here has got me fighting around with oversteer machine and dealing with the police. I say is this car modified? It might not be. Um, maybe it's lost a tyre? No, it's lost a tyre. I don't know. It drives funky anyway. I shouldn't have shot there. I, th I think... I saw the car turn around and I saw it on the footpath and I wanted to... I wanted to take it out. I figured that if I could get rid of the driver... I figured they'd, they'd already made me. And taking out the driver was a good way to go. I don't know if they had. I think that might have been a case of I shot. I shot too soon there. A little premature shooting. Um, maybe. It's possible. It's possible that I had been made, but you know, it's one of those things. It's just, I, I don't know. Was it maybe the safer option to shoot? <sighs> Certainly given me away. Car's done well. I will give it that credit, where credit is due, the car has done me proud in terms of this whole bolt across the city malarkey. Where am I going to swap a car now? It took me so long to find a place to swap a car from last bloody time, and then we run... Oh, we've actually flipped uh, a phoenix over. Yeah, that is... That's the super difficult part. Is where do you... How, how far do you run? Because if I pull over and, and swap a car, can I can't tell. Like last time we last time we saw actually when I was going into the car park, I think it was in Pega in the end, saw where I went, and I just didn't know people could still see me at that point because I can't I can't look everywhere to to tell essentially if somebody if I'm still in visual range. So yeah, last time when I thought I was safe, I, I wasn't. So that time I was playing it a little safer before trying to go for a swap, but I just ran into Gliska. I think it was Gliska anyway in, in that Phoenix. So. It's a difficult, a really difficult judging game, that one. Because uh, now we're back into another chase. I'm glad I've still got good cars. We're not having to go for emergency water bailing strategy. Uh, <laughs> I've already done it once, but I have talked about it and I have pondered it multiple times. And it probably will have to get used some more times. Uh, because, yeah, it's very difficult to shake this group. It's very difficult, especially getting rid of that... Bloody blimp is a nightmare. We've got one car on us at the moment. Now, I know where I'm heading is a little dangerous. Uh, I know there were cars up this way. I'm hoping I can outrun a Phoenix in a straight line, but I don't actually know if I can. That's going to give me some grief. Oh. 
God, AI is making sudden lane changes has been a problem for me, actually. I can still see whatever that is. I think it's an intruder or something like that is still following us. At least we can play around in Spaghetti Junction here. And it's difficult for other cars to join the chase around these places. Ugh, please don't change lane. <laughs> AIs, please just stay solid, go in the direction that you are in. I really can't deal with you farting around with your lane. I, I understand I am being the illegal one here, but if you could assist me in my I illegality? Sure. If you could, I would be very, very appreciative of that. Oh, fail race car! If you could just go, like, pull out in front of the whatever is following me, because I don't know. I haven't really seen it well enough. If you could. Be brilliant. Uh, we might try. Here, let's see, we might try the Bincident again. That that trick won't work. And the, the whole unfortunately, I say unfortunately for me, the whole pretend to be a Blakey. I've now burnt that idea. They're not going to fall for that one. They didn't really fall for it this time, but I definitely can't try that one again. Oh dear! Come on, car. This one may well not be armoured and probably won't have bulletproof tyres. So that is problems for me. I know. I said don't go back on yourself. That's why. Oh, I was hoping I could be lucky enough. Uh, this could give me a little sneaky sneaky help. Because everyone's just shot past me. The blimp's going to struggle turning. Uh, something got turned well enough to give chase. Oh, cars. More cars. Just cars everywhere. Uh, uh, I mean, we've got away with a lot. We've still got six hours to go. We've basically run for almost the entire thing, so why not just add another six hours onto this misery? Um, oh, stop oversteering. This is not the getaway car I wanted. It's so oversteery when pushed, and I don't need that. Oversteer is so bad for what I'm doing here. Um, I don't like oversteery cars at the best of time, but it really doesn't help when I'm doing this, because... It's easy to pit manoeuvre a car that's already naturally oversteer. If I'm driving a quick front wheel drive car, you try and pit manoeuvre it, what's it going to do? You know, they'll nudge the back. Okay, you can still spin a little bit, but you, you can get away with more. You can boot it. The other concern I have is over these bumps, over these jumps, it's just easy to spin. It's easy to spin on my own, oh, unassisted even, because the car's that little bit more unpredictable. So I've got to think about more. This is why the Sultan is such a good getaway car. Or it always has been. A lot of people say, yeah, it's not the fastest sports car. And it might not be, but what the Sultan is so very good at is, um, well, I've got to give it a try anyway. Just see if that I wasn't even close enough if there was a pre in that one. I don't know whether there was a pre. If there's not a pre there, I don't know where it is. Uh, goodbye, Phoenix. Um, if there isn't a pre in that garage, I have no idea where it might be. I, caught, I burnt my advantage, my lead in the chase to try it. I couldn't see a pre under the door, but I guess it could be further back. I might just be misreading where it is in the franticness of this whole thing. That is quite possible as well. Oh! Oh no, I tried to get on the brakes. We've been scooped. We have been scooped. We're still continuing to be scooped. Right. We may have to go. Oh, twist it. Twist it. We could get a landing at some point. That would be absolutely wonderful. We have got a landing. We have got a gap. Go, Oracle, go! We have to go to some sort of emergency plans. Oh! The whole normal getaway is not quite working. Where do we go? I mean, if we go for an emergency bail in the sea, what bit do we go for? Because they, they know it's very difficult to follow me if I go for this plan. I, I know I don't really want to do it. If I can avoid it. Oh, come on, car, turn. I just can't turn into a corner because the back end lets go on me as soon as I try. Although they struggle to make that corner as well. There's so many of them, they trip over each other a little bit now. And the more behind me, they're just like to be cutting me off somewhere, but... Yeah, we are struggling immensely with this. Although we have actually pulled a good gap. I think they all just fell over, fell into one another almost going through that section. And that has helped me out just to pull a margin. It's the blimp that's the bigger concern here. Uh, it's where the blimp is going to be. Oh, but it just doesn't handle well enough anymore for me to do this, I don't think. Um, right. What can I do here? I'm not far enough away to do really clever sneaky buggers. It may have to be a sort of storm drain and hope kind of a thing. Unless... Oh, I kind of want to try some of these alleyways, but it's so risky if somebody sees where I go. Uh, I've got to make that crazy decision. Do we jump it into the ocean? I mean, we're quite a long way away at this point. If we go for the whole dive into the sea... Idea, or do we just go for a 
I've got I've got the I've got the margin now. I can just keep going. I think if we just keep going like this, we're going to end up in an almost status quo. Will they expect me to pull this manoeuvre? Maybe I've done it before. If they lose sight of me when they go around the corner, are they going to check down the storm drain? Yeah, possibly. Uh, possibly not. They might not have thought about me going for this route. Okay. I have a plan. It's a dumb plan, but it might just work. Here. It might. It might just work. Where is the blimp? I don't think the blimp is close enough to see. Oh, okay. I couldn't quite jump that. What I wanted to do was sink the car and hide the evidence. Um, Oracle, you've done me proud. You have done really, really well here. Sink to the bottom of the ocean, please. Right, and then we go up. And then we go... Oh, not that one. Down. Dive. Dive. How do I dive? I did this before. There we go. It's one of them buttons. I'm just waiting to see, like, the ping, ping, ping as the bullets come down. Oh, I don't like this. I really, 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 really don't like this. Okay, we've got to come up for air at some point. Check for cars. Dive again. Right, so it's going to be right button. I swear I pressed that first and it didn't do anything, but never mind. There are some big downsides to this, in that we're in the murky greyness of the ocean. My plan is... iffy. They are probably going to cotton on that I've done something different. Now, whether they're going to figure out what I've done, I don't know. If they come looking for me out here, the car's gone. So... I'm hoping they're, they're, they're expecting me to drive to the airport. I, my, my hope is that their expectation is I've gone to the airport because they think I'll be swapping a car there. Now, that is a good theory. I do like the airport car parks. There's lots of options there. I don't know. I don't know on this one. We see we found ourselves back at... Vespucci Beach, which worked out pretty good for us last time. I'm trying to see where the blimp is. It does seem to be gone at the moment. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take this nice and easy. If there is any aircraft around here, I'm in trouble. Is that... What the hell is the AI doing up here with that? I genuinely don't know. That's really st really dumb, but it is there. I'm trying to just get to somewhere where there are people. That's that's my goal here. If I get to somewhere where there are people, we're in the kind of clear, and then I can walk and we can go find a car again, much like we did last time. I haven't necessarily intended to get myself to the same place we were last time out, but where that chase went, where we bailed, what we had to do, this is the best option I got. I was contemplating swimming all the way around to actually come up onto the beach, but that was going to be a really long swim. So, yeah, this has been a pretty good call, I think. We can walk along here. Um, and we will see how it goes, basically. <sighs> okay, well... This has uh, been eventful, shall we say. It's actually quite quiet out on the pier, on the pier, on the beachfront, whatever you want to call it. I guess it is quite early morning at the end of the day. It's 7.45. Oh, I was going to say I'm not normally awake. I am normally awake because Eve's breakfast time is 8 o'clock. And she knows that. And she will sit and howl until you are awake if you haven't fed her. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm up at this time normally. Uh, but it is a lovely fresh morning here. We we had a nice swim. We got our morning exercise. We had a swim. We had heart attacks for oh, on, a number of hours while dealing with everything. Uh, it has been uh, something. I've got to look for a car. We've still got a load of time as well. 
Well, we got a couple of hours. If I can try and find a car... I mean, we can't really blow up anything else. I don't know where any of the rest of the cars are. Uh, there's one somewhere... Uh, somewhere by the Bincident, almost. A little further along from where the Bincident is. I can't get to that in the two hours' time. The other one... You know, the, other th the other two. There's the one that I think was by the garage, but might be in like an alleyway somewhere that I've missed. And then there is one up by the observatory. That's, that's the last one. I tried to get to the one at the observatory, but... Uh, I just couldn't couldn't make it in time, which is slightly disappointing for me. Um, was really hoping we could. I was hoping we could have got more. As, as I've said multiple times already, I was just hoping the sneaky plan was gonna was gonna work a little longer than it that it actually did. Um, sadly, it did not quite. But there we go. We'll aim. Uh, I mean, we can kind of aim to try and get towards where maybe this one by the golf course is. It's the best bet I got. If we make it, great. We'll try and find it. If I don't make it, then we'll just try and survive the last two hours. If we get in a chase now, the Rakoto is pretty good as a getaway car. I've used it before. It works pretty well. Um, it's all-wheel drive, quite strong. It won't get spun the same way like a lot of the cars do. So, yeah. <laughs> It's got that on its side. This one, I think, has got a custom spoiler. Now, of course, we saw. I just nicked it off the street. I guess it's lightly modified. That might ping it. I'm not that fast. I should be, maybe. We've got an hour to go. I can... After this bloody episode, I can run for another two minutes. Oh, my, ner my, my nerves are gone. My concentration's shot to pieces. I mean, it was good, but... This has been an example of almost running an entire chase, a, a entire chase, and I got so lucky. I got bounced clear. We kind of got away with the garage ping. It was a little cheeky, but also they could kind of set up. So I think it balanced itself out. Um, the the later pin, I was so lucky that I got spun. I got spun, and there was a, a route to go forward. Basically, if they'd had a car in front of me, I was done for. But there was a route that I could get out of. They blocked three out of the four directions I could go, but with the way I was spinning, there was still one left. So that, uh, you know, could have gone so much wrong. There's probably three times that were very 50-50 on me being killed. I'd like to think we did a pretty good job on, on the whole of staying out of trouble, uh, but yeah. Certainly wasn't a perfect run, but you can't you can't run 24 hours. It'd be a perfect run. There's going to be traffic's going to do something goofy. You're going to come up against something you've never dealt with before, or can't have time to react with. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's always the danger of being in a permanent chase. This is easy now. We had a hunter drive past. I think it stopped to look at something. I don't know what it was. I don't think there's any reason it would be suspicious of my car, but I mean, maybe there was. I don't think so. As far as I'm aware, we're doing sensible. We're in a fairly heavy traffic here, but yeah, this is much easier. <laughs> I like that. I miss, I miss my whole. Um, let's just be a nice. Let's just do the blending in part. This is nice. This is relaxing. Just a normal drive across the city. I, I'll try and get something, but we're gonna. It's gonna time out before we can do it. And if I bolt across there, I just don't want to get caught now. <laughs> it's a good score. It's just uh, oh, we are about to get mugged. Nice try. <laughs> Hold on, can I just... Because I don't think they stop until... There we go, we'll just take out the mugger. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they approved of my tactics particularly. Fortunately, that does mean we now have got a wanted level. Which we can call Lester, we can get away with that. We've got the we've got, actually got the space as well. We can just run up here. I mean, I guess maybe we can try and find this uh, oh, car somewhere so you know before the trouble, end of it. Huh? Oh, it was okay. Leave it with me. Yeah, see, I thought it was in there, but I don't know. I, I swear it's on this part of the map. I just don't know quite where it is. We're on the same road again. It doesn't matter. Regardless, we have been successful. We have survived the hunt. We got away just about. It was manic, it was crazy, it was good fun. There it is! Oh, it, it was over here, which is the other side of the pissing wall. Ah, oh, well, there we go. We have done it. It was, as I said, a good number of cars were exploded. 
One more for good luck. It was a sneaky plan. Oh! Somebody threw a door. Oh, the, th <laughs> the whole car came with it. Uh, it was a sneaky strategy that didn't quite work out, but just sheer speed worked. Ow! We have been set on fire. I don't quite know with what. Uh, there we go. Blimp has turned up. Hello, Blimp. Can I nick the Blimp? No, no, I can't. Uh, Impega can go for a swim. Chris can uh, go for a shoot. The blimp's blowing up. We can just... We're just murdering everybody here. Uh, <laughs> there's someone behind a rock over there. Oh, and Lombard got us in the end. Uh, <laughs> that's why we don't do shootouts, particularly. Yeah, it... It was worth a try. It was a gamble. Didn't quite work as I'd hoped, but it was a good... I could survive the hunt. Wacky, mayhem, run away like a lunatic sort of survive the hunt. I hope you have all enjoyed this, because that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.